What's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, subscribe. I'm currently doing Vlogmas, which is very exciting, which just means that I'm uploading every single day until December 26th, technically, because I'll upload from Christmas. I love Vlogmas. It's my favorite time of the year. It's the best time of the year on my channel. I'm just making this year's Vlogmas the best one yet. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, one of the most requested videos is a what I want for Christmas video. In my secret Facebook group, which if you guys are not a part of it, you guys are really missing out. I know that I'm kind of biased because it's like, you know, uh, my Facebook group, but it seriously is so much fun and I talk to you guys there all the time and you guys give me such good recommendations and like we go to each other for advice and I feel like we're really just like hanging out and it's super cute and so fun. So if you guys haven't already joined that, be sure to join. Also subscribe if you guys are new here. Like I said, I'm posting every day this month. I would love for you guys to be a part. Um, I love you guys so much. I love the community that we've built here and it's literally the best thing ever. So, you guys have requested so much in the Facebook group that I do a what I want for Christmas video because a lot of you guys, I'm sure your parents are asking you guys what you want, just stuff like that. Um, so, I always like these videos because they also double as gift guides. I will be doing an official gift guide and I'm doing so many gift guides, like specific gift guides on my Instagram story. Gift guides are like my thing. I freaking love giving gifts to people. I'm so good at it too. So follow me on Instagram because um, I'm just going to be posting like every single day pretty much holiday gift guides and they're going to live on the highlights on my profile so you guys can see them for the whole month of December. Okay, disclaimer. Obviously, I know that Christmas is not about the gifts. This is a very highly requested video. I am like genuinely not asking for really any of this stuff. Um, this is stuff that I like and things that I think are good to ask for. Um, a few things I am asking for, like the smaller things. And yeah, these are just things that I like and things that I would like for Christmas. Again, I'm not expecting all this, like literally at all. This is more so things that I would like as gifts that I feel like you guys would also like. So it's good to kind of, I don't know. You guys love these videos for some reason. I don't really know why. Sorry that intro was so long. Starbucks break everyone. Peppermint cold brew. So freaking good. I got Disney Plus and I have a Christmas movie playing on my TV with no volume just to get me more in the Christmas spirit. The first thing would be a Barefoot Dreams blanket. So this is on my list and as I'm filming this now, I currently have not felt one in quite some time. So I need to go back and see if I really want one because they are definitely um, more expensive. So my Christmas list this year, uh, I don't know. I feel like it has like a little domestic twist to it. You guys will see. I feel like I've really grown up now looking at this Christmas list. I feel very mature and sophisticated. I have not felt one in quite some time. I need to go back into Nordstrom and feel it and see if I really want it because these blankets are pricey. But hear me out. I think blankets are a great investment. I use my blankets every single day. I think they're really important. I'm always on my couch doing something. I need a great blanket. Like that's the thing that I'll invest into. So yeah, these are like really pricey if you guys are looking for like something that's either kind of doubles as great decor for your house, but also is like an investment that you will legitimately use every single day. So it's worth it. Barefoot Dreams blankets, they're like so soft. I haven't felt one in forever. I just know that they're amazing. So I need to go back into Nordstrom and really solidify my choice. But I really recommend all of you guys to do the same. Please tweet me photos as you guys do that. Let me know what you guys think. Also pause this video, comment down below three things that you're asking for on your holiday wish list um, or three things that you're giving because I love, love a good gift to give. Next thing, Nespresso cups. This is something I'm for sure asking for. I know my mom told me they have them on sale for like four on Williams Sonoma. So I'll have, I'll have all of this stuff linked down below by the way. Um, but Nespresso cups are something that like I really want but like I don't necessarily want to spend the money on. Like that's typically like kind of what I ask for on uh, Christmas. They're just like really nice mugs. Again, I use mugs 24 seven. Anything home, kitchenware, all of that stuff I'm into right now. My next thing, look at Coco. Guys, I got Coco four years ago now. Isn't that so cute? Oh, almost four years ago. I think December 22nd is our four year anniversary. Um, okay, I want more Porter mugs. I love travel mugs. If you guys watched my videos back in high school, you would know that I was obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with these Starbucks travel mugs. There was this one specific like ceramic travel mug that had like black hearts all over it that I was obsessed with. Um, they still sell them every year, but they just aren't up to par to what they once were, like once were, once was, to what it once was five years ago. I'm hoping for the best this holiday season. I freaking love Starbucks travel mugs. So the Porter mugs are beautiful. Honestly, they're they're a little bit hot. So like I wouldn't say the best mugs. I just love the look of it and like, yeah, whatever. Um, I love those for class. I love those for like my hot lemon water on my way to Pilates. Like I love the Porter mugs. Um, and you guys, 
I linked them one time and you guys got so many of them. So I'll have them linked again. I have the gray one and I want the pink and the black, but yeah, they're really good. You can get them on Urban, I'm pretty sure. You can definitely get them on Anthropology. You can get them on Amazon. I'll also have them on my Amazon shop page. And yeah. A Dyson hair dryer. This is really pricey. And so I'm like, I don't know. I feel like it's just one of those things that I will have for 10 years. I will just use it 24 seven. I think I might buy this for myself because here's the thing. I work out every single day and I have to wash my hair because it's in a hot room and it's gross. So it would really be time efficient if I had a great hair dryer that really does dry my hair that quickly. I would really, really love that. So I think I might ask for one of those for myself and buy one because I think I just really need one and I feel like it'll be great. Um, by the time this video goes up, I might already have one. I honestly, disclaimer on all this stuff, I may already have it at the time that this video goes up because I'm filming this like two weeks in advance. Um, but yeah, I just feel like that's like really necessary. Okay, this is kind of a, not a dumb one, but just like a more fun one. I really want a skin fridge. I feel like that would be so awesome for my bathroom. Um, I would love a white one that's clean. Uh, this summer, late summer, I am going to be moving out of this house most likely and getting my own place. So I'm kind of thinking ahead and trying to get things that like I know I'll bring into my new apartment. Um, I want my own place again. I freaking love my roommate. So actually I like don't even want to think about that. But um, yeah, this house is really big and I want to like move to an area that's closer to everything that I do. Even though I love this house, I love everything about it. So I'm kind of sad thinking about it. I feel like a skin fridge is a great thing, great investment. This sounds like this is such a first world problem. But the way my house is set up, if you guys want to see a house tour, let me know. The way my house is set up is like very odd. It's an older house, definitely add-ons. Like it's very odd. So like going from like the kitchen to like my bathroom and back and forth is like so annoying and like I'm just lazy when it comes down to it. So like I know I'm not gonna go do that. It's just either gonna sit in my fridge or it's gonna sit in my bathroom. So I feel like it's just worth it to get a skin fridge, you know? Okay, also I was looking on Goop last night <laughs> cause I'm so domestic and like, you know, whatever. Um, no, but I think a really great gift that I know I won't be getting because I celebrate Christmas in Texas so I can't like travel back with this, but I would love, I might ask for this for my birthday next year. I would love a nice new pan, pots and pan set. Like nice kitchenware, my stuff. It's just like I have roommates, I, like we all use it. It's kind of trash. Like that's also kind of why I don't want to get it just yet. But I think a nice new pots and pan set would just be beautiful. Because also these are things that you don't really want to buy yourself and it would be beautiful and amazing to have but you don't really want to spend your own money on it and i feel like that's really amazing and i love cooking and i love all of that and i love cooking for people so i feel like that would be a great gift and i would love that my next thing okay i'm literally wearing it it's funny the aritzia boyfriend sweats and hoodie currently wearing one right now you can never go wrong i have it in this gray and then the lime green you could never go wrong with another color let me tell you i live in these things the aritzia boyfriend sweats if you guys don't get anything from this video please buy yourself a pair of the aritzia boyfriend sweats they are so comfortable i cannot even express that to you enough i wear these like as soon as i get home every single day i change into a pair of them they are so freaking comfortable. They have so many beautiful new colors as well. They also have an amazing Aritzia puffer. I'll also have the link down below if you guys are into that sort of thing. But yeah, that's just like literally like you can't go wrong. I want to get these for people for Christmas. I think the entire set is like 160, so it's definitely more expensive. I think it's so worth it to invest in nicer like loungewear because one, it looks nicer and you can wear it out and you don't look like as slobbish. Two, um, you wear it all the time. Like you will get your use out of it, if anything at all. If I invest in clothes, honestly, like sweats and nice hoodies, things that fit me really well, because that's what I wear the most. So it's amazing. Short Uggs. So I will have definitely already purchased these because I know because I'm getting them tomorrow. But the mini Uggs, like the short ones, listen, I know Uggs are out, whatever. I'm bringing them back. I'm really set on Uggs coming back this season. They're so comfortable. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm not gonna say they're the cutest shoes ever. I think the minis are cute, actually. I'm not gonna say like the ones up to your knee, whatever, chestnut, I, whatever. You can wear them with sweats, you can wear them around the house. Like, it's just amazing. On that same note, Ugg slippers. I ask for Ugg slippers every few years because they last me that long. Um, they're the best slippers ever. They're one of the best purchases you will legitimately ever make. Um, I'll also have those linked down below. They're such a good Christmas gift. Cannot say enough great things about Ugg slippers, but I am gonna be asking myself for these Uggs and I will be receiving them probably tomorrow and it will be all worth it. Um, comment down below if you guys think Uggs should come back and if you don't, that's okay. I'll be praying for you and hoping that you become happier. 
just kidding. But seriously, I'm like really happy about this and I don't really care. Haters gonna hate, you know? Like I have a big attitude today, guys. So sorry. Another thing, this is not something I'm like seriously asking for because my friend has an old one. She's giving it to me. <laughs> Amazing. But an Apple Watch. I don't really know what I would use an Apple Watch for aside from the fitness stuff, which is why I want one. And everyone tells me that like I would love an Apple Watch because like I am who I am and I'm like into all that stuff. But I just like haven't pulled myself, like I haven't pulled the trigger in order to make sure I buy an Apple Watch. Like something has like always kind of held me back. My boyfriend has one and I, he likes it, but like, I don't know. I feel like I just need one and I need to try it. And I feel like once I have one, I'll be obsessed with it. And I will really like it in terms of fitness because as we know, I love fitness. So I feel like that's a really great gift but I got lucky and my friend has one and she's like, oh my gosh, I'll just give you mine because I literally haven't used it in forever. So that's really amazing. Okay, so the next thing that I have. <laughs> um, so, like I said, domestic. I want the Gwyneth Paltrow, the clean plate cookbook. I would love cookbooks. I think that cookbooks can never go out of style. They always look good in your kitchen. I love clean eating. I love cooking and I just, oh. Like seriously, my friend, one of my best, best friends, Sab from home, been in my channel since the very beginning, got me the Snoop Dogg cookbook for Christmas last year. And that is such an amazing gift because as you guys know, I have like a bunch of like rappers and just like pop culture stuff in my office. So like it looks great and like it just really matches like me as a person. And then also that was when I decided I was gonna get into cooking and look at where I'm at now guys, air fryer and all. So that was a really great gift. One of the best ones I think I've ever received. If not the best one I've ever received because it was very thoughtful and brought everything together. She did a great job, 10 out of 10, go sad. But I would love more cookbooks, um, the Gwyneth Paltrow one, really any clean eating ones, any ones that are beautiful and would look great in my kitchen and my new apartment next year or next summer. Coco, please stop eating. Does anyone else's dogs like bring their food near them? Like she had to go all the way around the house just to bring her food here, just to eat it to where my mic will be picking it up for this video. So the next thing I want is the skim book. Um, I just got into the skim. Like I listened to the podcast this morning and I subscribed the other day. I like kind of off and on done it. If you guys don't know what the skim is, um, I don't really even know how to describe it well, but basically essentially it's like a skim of the news and they tell you what you need to know in a way that like it makes more sense to like millennial minds and stuff. Um, it's really great. They have the skim book, which just tells you kind of like the basics of adulting and stuff. And there's just random things that like we don't learn that I honestly could benefit from in this book. So I would really like that. I would love a nice toaster. This is the last, um, of my video today. I would just love a nice toaster. Like my toaster now is not great. I don't really need one of those great big mixers as much as I would love a white one for my next apartment. Like I just don't need that because I'm not much of a baker. So I currently don't need that, but I would love a nice toaster. Mine right now is just not great and I'm not like obsessed with it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, I would love a nice toaster for my nice avocado toast in the morning. Um, I got into making great sandwiches lately. Like, you know, anything kitchenwares, kitchen supplies. I would also love anything that's great for entertainment as far as cooking goes. So like cheese plates, that's great. Anything to serve on. I love mugs. You can never go wrong with mugs and you can never go wrong with candles. Literally ever. I don't care what anyone says. I think that those are great gifts at all times because you use mugs all the time and candles are, you no one, everyone loves candles. So I think those are great things to ask for as well as a Polaroid, a film camera or um, film in general. I will link down below the film camera that I have and the film that I use and then also the Polaroid that I have and the film that I use for that. Um, I actually don't need any of that stuff right now, I think, because I have so much film currently, but that's something I normally ask for, like, in a stocking stuffer, because it's really great, and I also just, like, love taking, like, photos and stuff. I'm trying to be so much better about taking photos of family during Christmas and the holidays. My family is not a family, takes a bunch of photos together, so we have, like, none. So I'm going to be working on that this holiday season. So I've made it very easy for you guys, and everything that I mentioned in today's video, I will have linked down below. So if you guys need to come back, it's all going to be linked in the description, or if you guys just want to shop and whatever and whatnot send links to your parents whatever it's all in the description already so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have already subscribed so you guys can stick around i also have a podcast called the i love you so much podcast it's where i sit down with like thought leaders entrepreneurs influencers not that many influencers um i like authors like all these amazing people that are so incredible we sit down um it's because i love them they normally hopefully love me. We have great conversations and it's awesome. And we're gonna be doing a lot of things. 
um, about like the new year, so like holidays and stuff, and then as we get into the new year, like fitness and health and like getting motivated. So if you guys have not already checked out the podcast, it is linked down below as always. It is my pride and joy, my baby that I love so much. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Subscribe. I just, I literally am just don't want to stop filming, so I just keep saying things. But I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.